Hey guys, Language Hacker here. Blizzard finally announced a bunch of stuff today. They announced a new expansion, a new class for Hearthstone, and some surprises announced on stream. And let's dive right in, because there's, there's plenty to talk about. So, next expansion, March of the Lich King. So they're coming back with the... Lich King theme. Knights of the Frozen Throne touched on this a little bit. Uh, that was one of the previous expansions uh, several years back. This is March of Lich King, a bit more Lich King oriented. More importantly, it's coming with the Death Knight class. They finally added it, which was kind of weird because we kind of had Death Knights in Knights of the Frozen Throne. And now they're introducing it as a class. And it's kind of unfortunate that they, there's some like weird separation there. But I think it's good that they did uh, introduce this. Because honestly, the Lich King storyline is one of like the most loved ones um, in the WoW community. And I'm sure that passes over to Hearthstone as, uh, for some players that uh, did play WoW. In any case, Death Knights are basically people that were risen to fight for the Lich King. And it's its own class now in Hearthstone, as it already was in WoW. So the Death Knight class has something unique about it. Where there is a runic system involved, lore-wise. In, in, in WoW, each class has uh, three or four, if you're Druid, uh, specializations where you can play the class a specific way. Hearthstone touches on that a little bit with the spell schools, like how we have spells that are, you know, fire or frost or shadow or whatever. Um, but the Death Knight uh, inclusion that they just... Uh, the Death Knight mechanics that they added are actually, like, runic requirements. And wh what this means is that um, there are a bunch of cards you can play that have a specific symbol... In the, I believe it's in the bottom left corner. There might be some sample cards. Um, the, the card will have some sigils on it, like this. Blood, Frost, or Unholy, and up to three of them. And for you to be able to play that card, your deck has to be classified as, as uh, a specific combination of, of runes. Um, and these link to like the three specializations that existed in, in World of Warcraft. So in the collection, you'll be able to select what each deck is like specialized as. Uh, and you can play cards that have requirements such as this card can only be played if you if your deck is specialized with at least two blood runes, for example. Now you could be two blood runes and a frost, two blood runes and an unholy, or you could be three blood runes and still play that card. And there's going to be a variety of this. And what that allows is the Death Knight can have access to all these different cards that actually go in different ways, but they're also in, to some extent exclusive to each other. Like you can't play some of the best cards from each specialization together. And I think in some cases that was a limitation in Hearthstone because this didn't exist before with our other classes. And they're not going to do this for the other classes, at least from what we've been told. So this allows them to go in a different direction and print super powerful cards that can't be used in like every single deck. Which I think is really, really cool. I, I do like this. It's cool, it's thematic, it ties in with WoW a bit. And it kind of uh, gives them a chance to explore this and perhaps make changes in the future or have this as an option when uh, new classes come out as well. Anyways, that's Death Knight. Um, it's worth talking about the fact that I believe all the Death Knight cards that get released with a new expansion, which is coming out December 6th, uh, it, which is called March of the Lich King, in, in case I didn't say that, but I think I said that. Um, right, all the Death Knight cards are going to be part of the core set, which means that everyone gets all the playable Death Knight cards for free, which is amazing you can still pre-purchase and get other cards and the other cards you need for the other classes are still gonna you know come from packs and whatnot but everyone having access to this course that is great for hearthstone because it welcomes back old players it welcomes new players as well because now they have a like a full collection for this class but that they can play in different ways because of the running system so i think that's very 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 cool Improve new and returning player deck system. New and returning players will now be able to borrow a selection of competitive decks for one week following their return, before choosing one to claim at the end of that loaner deck period. This is excellent. They had this, uh, I believe they had this uh, returning and new players uh, thing where you could like get a deck and, and it's just added to your collection that's yours now. And now you have the option of playing and testing a few ones out for a week to, to see what you enjoy, what you like, and going from there. I think this is an excellent change as well. And along with the Death Knight cards being added to Core Set, I think that's going to be such a good step. At, I mean, multiple good steps at uh, making Hearthstone a more, uh, I guess, accessible experience for, for those who don't want to either spend money or whatever. It's, it's a positive change. I think we can agree on that. Uh, there's a couple other things they're adding as well. They are adding these legendary hero skins, where, as you can see, it's a, now a 3D model with, I believe, some different voice lines. And they also have some animations, as you can see when he when he's emoting here with Well Played. Arthas is like, you know, haha, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so this is another, I guess, monetization. Wait, I'm assuming this is monetized. Yes, it'll be available for pre-purchase party. Arthas, Metham, Bundle, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's a good idea. More ways to monetize the game without 
making cards more expensive, I think is good because that way, you know, it's, it's a good system for people who want to spend money on the cosmetics without making it more expensive for people who just want to play the game. And I think they're going to be doing this for other classes. I don't know if they're coming out with one of everything, but for now, we've only seen the uh, Arthas Menethil, uh, which will be the Death Knight, uh, I guess, main class hero guy. I don't think this is going to be the default uh, portrait, but this is going to be the... Uh, I believe the first uh, legendary hero skin for, for Death Knights. If you log in now, you will get the Sunwell for free. This is their first neutral spell uh, that Blizzard has printed. It's a nine mana holy spell that reads, fill your hands, fill your hand with random spells from any class. It uh, costs one less for each other card in your hand. So it becomes cheaper if your hand is full, but you get less value out of it. And it is more expensive if your hand is empty, but you get more value out of it. It's a pretty cool card. It's a nice value card because it gives you a lot of random stuff that you can't normally put in your deck um, and can make for interesting random... Oh god, Fiesta games. But, whatever. Cool card, and you can play this now in a bunch of different decks. We've had in the past events in Hearthstone. Hallow's End, uh, Noble Garden, Feast of Winter... I think we had Feast of Winter Winter's Veil as well, like a Christmas type thing. But, it's been a little awkward. We've been getting a legendary quest that take up, like, quest slots. And what they've done now is they added an extra section here in the journal specifically for events. And when there's an event, this will pop up. The journal itself will actually look a little bit different. Um, and... All of the event will be contained within that section. You can see all the rewards you can get. You can see the quests or whatever they have there for you to complete to get uh, to those rewards. And everything will be very, very nice and clear. Uh, when you click on this, it'll give you a little brief like, hey, this is the event, blah, 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 blah. Do some quests, get some stuff. So I like this as well. They're re removing this from like the normal quest slots as a separate thing. So it's A, easy to track to see what you have. Um, and B, you know, people got upset that, oh, I never do these quests. Why are this in my quest log? Now you can't complain about it anymore. I like this organization. Very nice. And along with this, with Hallow's End, the entire Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion will be temporarily standard legal and free for all players. So the Knights of the Frozen Throne was the original, uh, like, frozen -y, Lich king -y expansion they had um, way, 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 way back when it came out. Um, and all of that is part of the core set, at least for the next month until the new expansion comes out and anyone can use it. Uh, so ladder is going to be full of people playing current decks with some old, uh, spicy card set in there. Kaliseth is in ultimate infestation. Um, all the old death knights are back in. So there's some cool stuff you can try out now. Uh, keep an eye out on the channel. I already have a couple of videos popping up soon TM. Um, but there's some very cool stuff you can try out with some of the cards. Most of the cards are, I was initially kind of concerned about this because I'm like, God, I hated Death Knight cards. But most of the Death Knight cards are actually kind of meh compared to the power level these days. So I think it's it's fine. It's It'll be fun to play with. And I think it's only for a month. I think after this month, it'll be reverted back to wild. And they're just having this as a temporary, uh, you know, spice the meta up until the next expansion comes out, which I like. I like that they're trying and testing this stuff out. It's good. I'm actually extremely concerned that Sire and uh, and Theotar will get over the finish line to the next expansion without being touched. And I think that's bad. I think these cards are bad for the game in their current state. I would like to see them changed, uh, Hall of Famed, or uh, nerfed uh, in some way. I have suggestions on how to do that. Reach out to me, Blizzard. Also, I talk about it like every stream because it's super frustrating. Anyways, in summary, all of this, very, very positive. My only caveat is that please please change Theotar on Sire because it's taking away from the fun and experience. And I'm sure it will continue to take away from some of the fun and experience once the expansion comes out. But this patch, mm, two thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and keep an eye out for all the YouTube guides I'm putting out with new decks that you can play uh, for the next month with Knights of the Frozen Throne cards. Peace!